Thank you, Morris, for your kind remarks. It is a great honor to be introduced by one of the world's most respected and admired business leaders, a pioneer of a business model that has transformed the technology industry, and a company builder who has made TSMC a vital company for the world. I am privileged to have worked with Morris for nearly two decades and to have him as my friend. President Kwan, former presidents of NTU, esteemed faculty, students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to join National Taiwan University's anniversary and celebrate academic achievement and the pursuit of knowledge. I feel deeply honored to be conferred an honorary doctorate from this great institution, one whose graduates helped build some of the world's most admired companies. TSMC, Quanta, Foxconn, MediaTek, Spill, ASUS, MSI, all are longtime partners of NVIDIA. And I feel humbled to be given the same honor bestowed upon Morris Chang and Barry Lim, both giants in the computer industry and both heroes of mine. By honoring me today, you recognize the achievements of thousands at NVIDIA who have pursued our dream to contribute to the computer industry we love. We wanted to build a computing company that can solve the challenges that ordinary computers cannot. So we pioneered the GPU in accelerated computing. We're fortunate to have helped create the modern computer graphics industry and to have democratized high performance computing, putting the power of supercomputers in the hands of all scientists. A researcher once said to me, Mr. Huang, because of your work, I can do my life's work in my lifetime. Our technology was his time machine. And several teams of computer scientists with no budget for a supercomputer tried their new machine learning algorithm on NVIDIA GPUs and broke long-standing records in computer vision. The obscure algorithm was called deep learning and started the big bang of modern AI. These are extraordinary times to be in academia, in computer science, and in any field of science with challenges too complex or large scale to describe from first principled laws, like Newton's laws of motion or Maxwell's law of electromagnetism. Now with AI, computers can learn from evidence and automatically generate a predictive model. AI is software that writes software. AI is impacting the computer industry in nearly all industries. Here's why. First, AI is democratizing software programming, putting the power of computers in the hands of everyone. Few people in the world can program, but all could teach a new skill to an AI. One of my favorite stories is a student who taught a robotic cucumber picker to help his mom with the arduous and meticulous task of sorting cucumbers from their farm. Second, AI can write software no humans can and opens new possibilities. All around the world, scientists have discovered this new tool, are making breakthroughs at incredible speeds in science, healthcare, transportation, logistics, robotics, and even computer graphics. Third, AI is automating intelligence at large scale and learning at an exponential rate. Speech recognition, which advanced slowly for 30 years, became good enough with deep learning. Through use by billions of people, improved exponentially over the past five years. Computer speech recognition is now better than human. And lastly, just as billions of intelligent humans are connected to the internet today, there will someday be trillions of artificial intelligent machines connected to the internet, creating a computer industry thousands of times larger than the one we enjoy today. AI is the most powerful technology force of our time, a powerful new tool. This is a great time to be in computer science. This is a great time to be in the sciences. This is a great time to be in academia. President Kwong and the NTU committee, I accept this honorary doctorate with humility, appreciation, and pride.